time. Gather round, come on now, let's sit down. Is I do not mathematics? 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 there guys glad to see that you could join me again for another magnificent and marvelous math lesson with miss Antonia Bain hmm I wonder what we'll be talking about today today we'll be exploring the wonderful world of perimeter let's take a look at our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to define the term perimeter, state the formula for finding the perimeter, and calculate the perimeter of triangles, squares, and rectangles. Have you ever seen a rug in the middle of the floor and wondered what's the distance around that rug? Well, if that came into your mind, then you are thinking about perimeter. Yes, boys and girls, perimeter. The perimeter of an object is the distance around it. You can use units of length to measure perimeter. What are some of these units of length? We have millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, inches, feet, yards, and we can't forget miles. Now, let's look at how we can measure perimeter. Hmm, can you find the perimeter? When we are given square grids to find the perimeter of the shape, we count the sides. Let's look at our first diagram and see if we can identify the perimeter. Remember, let's count the sides. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And each one of those sides represents a centimeter. So that means that the perimeter of that shape is 14 centimeters. Let's look at our shape in the middle. What is the perimeter? Remember, when we're given square grids, we count the sides. Again, we will say that each side is one centimeter. So let's begin counting. Count with me now. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's sixteen centimeters. That's the perimeter. Let's look at our last shape. Find the perimeter. To find the perimeter, we're going to count the sides. Each side in this case is one centimeter. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this shape has a perimeter of 16 centimeters but oh no what do we do when we're not given square grids how do we find the perimeter well let's take a look to find the perimeter of a rectangle there are two things that we can do one we can use the formula P equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. If we look 
at our rectangle. We know that the length is 10 centimeters and the width is 5 centimeters. So now our equation would be 2 times 10 plus 2 times 5. Now we can solve that to find the perimeter. Remember boys and girls that we can use orders of operation. We learned about that before in one of our previous lessons. So when we use order of operations, we know that we have to multiply first. 2 times 10 gives me 20 and 2 times 5 gives me 10. So when I add 20 plus 10, I get 30 centimeters. So the perimeter of this shape is 30 centimeters. I can use that method or I can just add up all the sides. That's method number two. When I do that, my formula is 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 30 centimeters. Now, I know some people are wondering, well, how did I get that extra 10 and extra 5? Well, when we are given a shape and there is an unknown side, when it comes to perimeter, we use the length of the side that's parallel or opposite to it. So that means that I must add an extra 10 and an extra 5 in this case. Now, let's look at how to find the perimeter of a square. When we look at the perimeter of a square, we can multiply 4 times each side. In this case, each side is equal to 3. So when I multiply 4 times 3, I get 12. So the perimeter of this square is 12 feet. I can use that method or remember what we said, we can just add up all the sides. And when I do that, that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 which equals to, you guessed it, 12, which brings us right back to our 12 feet. This seems really easy, right? Let's look now at how to find the perimeter of a triangle. To find the perimeter of a triangle, we're going to add up all the sides. So when we do that, we get 1 and 5 tenths, plus 1 and 3 tenths, plus 2, which equals to 4 and 8 tenths. Now, we cannot forget our units, so my final answer is 4 and 8 tenths of an inch. Hmm, wonder if you can do a perimeter search now. I'm going to show you a shape, and you need to tell me what the perimeter is for that shape. Give it a try. Let's go. What is the perimeter? Can you find it? Look carefully. If you said 16, you are correct. The perimeter of this shape is 16 centimeters. How about this? What is the perimeter? You guys are smart. The perimeter of this shape is also 16 centimeters. Hmm, I have a tricky one for you now. What is the perimeter? Well, if you said 51 meters, you are correct. You guys are doing an awesome job. It seems like you really understand all about perimeter. So let's do a quick review now. Remember when we talked about perimeter we said that the perimeter is the distance around a 2D shape. To find the perimeter you can add or multiply. Also we know that the formula of the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. 
or you can add the side plus the side plus the side plus the side it all depends on how many sides there are right and of course we know that we use units of length to measure perimeter this lesson was created by miss antonia bain